parents came to the United States in 1985 from India, and they came here with probably 25 bucks. We were actually living in a one-bedroom apartment uh, with seven people, and we struggled. Our parents worked double shifts. I was forced to mature a lot quicker, and uh, you know that basically made me realize I want to do something big. I want to dream about doing something big. So at 16, I started my first internet advertising company in my bedroom. Being 16 and running a company was very, very uh, unique. One thing that I had to do was gargle my voice a little bit, made a little macho voice out of it, you know, changed my identity a little bit, called myself Gary, and, you know, went to work. My first company shot up to about 35 people. Two years later, I actually sold it for $40 million, started my uh, second company at 21, and uh, just last October, sold that for $300 million to Yahoo. But you're going to be talking to us about something quite exciting today. Well, you know... I have definitely got a deep dish where you guys can really stick your teeth into it today. <laughs> <laughs> Go no joke. Okay. So, if you're not familiar with the name Gurbaksh Jahal, aka G, I'm really proud to introduce to you an amazing, amazing young man. Okay. okay. Gurbaksh is considered one of the most successful entrepreneurs in America today. Mm -hmm. And Soon enough, the world. So, so Gurbaksh is not only an entrepreneur, but he also works as a model, as well as a reality television star. Oh, wow. Yeah, so recently he started in an American reality show called The Secret Millionaire. Oh, we have and, that here. Yes, and um, this is where self-made millionaires go undercover, mm -hmm. and they get to know families in need. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the show, they give away a huge chunk of change to a very, very deserving family. Anyway, we're going to head right back over to her now. Let's see if she's there. Hello, good morning. I'm back. And she's back. She's back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Oh, no, it's okay. Not a problem. I gave you a chance to just kind of, you know, gather your thoughts and, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. run to the loo or whatever it is that you wanted to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that exactly. exactly. That's great. Anyway, so where were we? Oh, we were talking about when we we saw him at the uh, Gurdwara. So, Deeps, you want to finish that off? Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. So I, I'm i really good with faces, so I recognized him in a second. And I just, I grabbed Peta by the shoulder. I'm like, Peta, don't look now, but it's Gurbaksh. <laughs> and that's when I froze. And, you know, Peta, she's just such a go-getter. She just went for it. She's like, hey, Gurbaksh, what's going on? I can just imagine and you doing that, Peta, as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and so she just she just went up to him simply and said, "Hey, um, we've heard so much about you." Actually, she introduced herself, introduced me, yeah. and um, you know, she just told him, "Hey, we really admire what you're doing." And and plus, he's he just you know kind of would we just went along his way, but he did he did definitely acknowledge us and and said um, we were asking him if we could maybe interview him sometime. So he gave us some contact information. He was really nice about that, Aww. and then he just went on his way. You know what I find interesting, I mean, when you met him could you tell would you have been able to tell that he was a, a millionaire or multi-millionaire had you not known i don't think so did no he, did he come no. across quite humble and he's he's very he's very humble mm. uh, or, very humble yeah. and i say i would say shy yeah really? he's shy you know i he think i think i think he's guarded okay. because he went through so much when he was younger um i remember uh like in the first chapter he talked about this time where these kids held a knife to his throat and <gasps> made him take off his turban what yeah so this was sort of racist behavior yeah. that he mm -hmm. was this was at school or? yeah yeah he was playing he was uh, playing uh, a game at the schoolyard oh yeah. wow this that's awful and yet despite all of that he came out of it you know just shining brightly and definitely and he did so well for yeah. himself He's done very well. And, you know, not to mention, um, Oprah mm. had a one-on-one -on -one interview with him ah. on her show. Ms. Yeah, Oprah Winfrey herself. <laughs> yes, exactly. You can probably YouTube it. And um, he's there and just one-on-one. -on -one, she's just ripping him apart, asking him a bunch <laughs> of questions. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, but it's great. That's it's quite great. interesting that Oprah interviewed him because Oprah went through some quite similar kind of things in her childhood, you know, with the whole the race issues that she yeah, faced. And- I think I think any kid who's been bullied, mm-hmm. they can really relate to the story. I could relate to the story within like a few minutes because yeah. just the things that he was talking about, it brought me back to my childhood when yeah. I was picked on, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, I can imagine it did. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you know what? Good for him. I, you know, I feel inspired, and I haven't even read the book yet, and I haven't even met the guy or anything. So I'm, I'm feeling very, um, very much like I want to go out there and get this book. What is it called? The dream. It's the dream. Yeah. The dream. It's C H A H A L. That's right. Dot com. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, guys, go and check that out. Go check out this book. Go YouTube this guy. Go Google image him because apparently he's hot as well as being, uh, you know, su- successful. Um, he's an author. He's a, an entrepreneur. Um, he's a guy that goes to the Gurdwara. He's just an all round <laughs> kind of guy, isn't he? Yeah. And I can't believe that he's still single. I know. I can't believe it either. Yeah. I have a crush he's on ob- him. He's obviously biding his time, you know, <laughs> trying to find his perfect princess because, you know, there must be a lot of women that must yeah. be out to him. You have to be Definitely. very careful. Mm-hmm. Oh, my Definitely. goodness. Well, Deeps, good luck with that. You know, just let us know oh, what happens. <laughs> Let us know what happens. Yeah, know? now I'm just hoping for a third encounter, and that's it. And it's that's down. It. <laughs> it's going down. Then it's fate. That's <laughs> it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Deeps, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's been a real pleasure, and I'm sorry that you got cut off halfway. <laughs> oh, not a problem. I had a blast talking to you guys. Can't wait till the next segment. So we're going to Google image him. Yeah. Right. And how do you spell his name? Um, G-U-R... B-A-K-S-H. Chahal, yeah? Yeah. Ooh! 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 Oh, yeah, he's rather nice, actually. Ooh! Very chiseled and uh, buffed up and... Google image good bus Chahal. He is hubba hubba. Seriously, the dude is so hot and... He's rich and he's successful and apparently he's really humble and he goes to the Gurdwara. Ladies, seriously get your mums on the case. Get those aunties on the case. We need some serious matchmaking going on. Good Bath Chahal is the ultimate bachelor.